there's an estimated 5,000 persons living with HIV in Belize. Of that estimate, data is showing us that there is 50% of those have been diagnosed and know their status. So we're starting already on the wrong foot because it, 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 it's alarming that of 5,000 people, 2,500 know their status, but there's also another 2,500 that are living with HIV and do not know it. And if you do not know your status, then you can easily transmit the, 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 the virus to, to somebody else. When we look at now, when we go to the second pillar, which has to do with treatment and care, of the 2,500 persons who know their status, only 50% of them, some 1,200 people, are on treatment and care. And more importantly, more important than treatment is retaining them in care. So that means that we have another 1,200 persons who maybe have sta who started care uh, treatment, sorry, but for some reason or the other did not continue their treatment. So we, we, we refer to, to them as last to follow up, right? And again, that's not good because data and studies are telling us that persons with HIV can live long, many, many, many years once they are able to adhere to their medication and change their lifestyle in terms of resting well, eating well, exercising, no smoking, no drinking, safe sexual practices, and so forth. But it's important that people adhere to medication. So we already have 1,200 people on adhering. We have 1,200 persons that somehow were last to follow. Of the 1,200 people on treatment, there's about 40% or 50% of those that have a viral load suppression. And like I mentioned earlier, that's our goal because once a person has a viral load suppression, is virally suppressed, it means that the, the load or the amount of virus in the body is so low that the person it's, it's, it's non-existent that the person will be able to transmit the infection. So our numbers are, 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 are not looking good. Every year for the past five to six years as well, um, our statistics are showing us that every year we have an average of 250 new cases. And again, this is for us at the Nationalist Commission is unacceptable. Um, 250 new cases every single year. And every single year also, there's an average of 110 persons dying from AIDS. So when you look at the, when you look at the raw numbers, Andrea, you, let, let's say so you look at the raw numbers for a year, you can safely come to the conclusion and say that of the new infections for that year, 50% of them will die from AIDS. And it's simply unacceptable. 